Sylvia Porter Hall. Now, aside from the ring that my name might have to it when you say it, I probably appear to be a normal, average African-American woman, at least from first glance. Now, if by average and normal you mean not being able to do any fancy tricks, such as standing on my head, walking on my hands, or crossing my eyes to the point of no return, then yes, I am as normal and average as can be. But I want to talk to you today about the significance of numbers and the value that we place on them in our lives. Numbers are important place markers and bookmarks in our history, our personal histories. So that leads me to a question that I'd like to ask to you out there. If I were to ask you, now realizing you don't know me from a can of paint, what the numbers 3, 6, 9, if you had to imagine what those numbers mean for me, what would you say? And you might imagine they could mark the anniversary of a divorce or a marriage, could mark how long I've been clean or sober, or it could be the countdown to a well-planned, much-needed vacation. Well, for me, none of these things is representative of 369. 369, for me, represents the number of days that I was confined. Now, when I say confined, probably first thought comes to mind is jail or prison. And actually, you're partially right, because it was a type of solitary confinement. You see, 369 represents the number of days I was hospitalized. Unbelievable, right? Yes, I did say 369 day hospitalization. Now your next question might be, and understandably so, what could happen to a person that would land them in a hospital for that long? Well, stay tuned for part two of this video. And while I try to give you a glimpse into a deeper look as to what happened to me during this horrendous event in my life and how it changed me as a person forever. Hopefully, I will be able to help someone out there as well.